This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Okay, the next concept is ionization of acids and bases. What is ionization of acids and bases? Arrhenius concept of acids and bases becomes so useful in case of ionization of acids and bases as mostly ionizations in chemical and biological system occur in aqueous medium. Okay, Arrhenius concept of acids and bases we have studied. This becomes a very useful in case of ionization of acids and bases as mostly ionizations in the chemical and biological systems occur in aqueous medium. And you know the next point I will say about this. The equilibrium moves in the direction of formation of weaker acid and weaker base. Okay. Because the stronger acid donates a proton to the stronger base. See. Stronger acid. donates a proton proton to the stronger base okay so remember this one and the next one is strong acids have a very weak conjugate base it follows that as strong acids disassociates completes in water Okay, strong acid disassociates completely in water. The resulting base formed would be very weak. That is, strong acids have a, another point of this. That is, strong acids have strong acids have very weak conjugate bases. Okay, very weak. conjugate bases okay this is about the ionization of acids and bases you know how the they are disassociates uh, in a equilibrium what happens so this is about ionization next the ionization constant of water and its ionic product what is the ionization of uh, you know, ionization constant of water? Okay, some substances like water are unique in their ability of acting both as an acid and base. Here, you know, uh, water is acting as a both acid and base. Okay, now I will explain you how what is the the uh, ionic constant of water we have seen uh, this in case of water uh, that is in presence of an acid H it accepts a proton and acts as a base while in the presence of base see in the presence of an acid in the presence of an acid H A it accepts a proton and acts as the base while in the presence of base b minus it acts as an acid by donating a proton okay ha it accepts a proton and acts as a base which acts as a base while in the presence of base why in the presence of base b minus it acts as an acid by donating a proton it acts as a acid by donating a proton okay so in a pure water in a pure water one h2o molecule donates proton and acts as an acid and another water molecule accepts a proton and acts as a base at the same time the following equilibrium exists like 
equilibrium that is H2O plus H2O H3O plus this is aqueous plus OH minus this is acid this is base and this is conjugate acid and this is conjugate base okay the disassociation constant that is k which can be represented as h minus okay and divided by h2o okay and the next the concentration of water is omitted from the denominator as water is a pure liquid and its concentration remains constant h2o is incorporated within the equilibrium constant to give a new constant kw which is called the ionic product that is kw is called ionic product of water that is h plus divide uh, sorry So I will once again I will explain you about this one. Uh, what do you mean by anic product of water means the concentration of water is emitted from the denominator as water is a pure liquid and its concentration remains constant. So this one will be omitted. Okay, this one will be omitted. So H2O is incorporated within the equilibrium constant to give a new constant that is Kw which is called anic product so now you are remaining with which one h plus this one this is o h minus okay the concentration of h plus has been found out experimentally as 1.0 and 10 raised to minus 7 molar at 298 kelvin and then disassociation of water produces equal number of h plus and oh minus and the concentration of hydroxyl ions is 1.0 and 10 raised to minus 7 the value of kw now you know that um, kw uh, that is sorry uh, this one is h3o plus we are only uh, omitting that uh, only denominator uh, denominator part so both h3o plus and oh minus so having 1.1 1. 1 into 10 raised to minus 7 mole so whole square this is also 1 into 10 raised to minus 7 this is also same that's why how much you are 1 into 10 raised to minus 14 mole Okay, the value of Kw is temperature dependent and it is an equilibrium constant. Okay. And you know we can uh, distinguish acidic. We can distinguish acidic. neutral and basic aqueous aqueous solutions by the relative values of the h3 plus and oh minus concentrations acidic h3o plus oh minus then neutral H3O plus which is equal to OH minus then we are calling it as neutral and the next one is basic O plus which is less than OH minus Okay, so this is about the ionization constant of water and its ionic product and how we are distinguishing acidic, neutral and basic aqueous solutions uh, using water. In water, how we are distinguishing. Okay, next concept is the pH scale. The pH of a solution is defined as the negative logarithm to base 10 of the activity of hydrogen and 
so this we are this is known as ph scale hydronium ion concentration in molarity so the ph of a solution is defined as the negative logarithm to base 10 of the activity of hydrogen ion okay please note down this definition and uh, i will give some of the uh, points about this ph scale hydronium ion concentration in molarity is more conveniently expressed on a logarithmic scale known as the ph scale the ph of a solution is defined as this uh, definition you can write okay and now in a dilute solutions less than 0 0.01 mole just assume activity of hydrogen ion is equal in magnitude to molarity represented by h plus it should be noted that the activity has no units and is defined as uh, ah is equal to h plus divided by mole per liter from definition of ph the following can be written as pH is equal to logarithm negative logarithm to base 10 that is you are writing H plus is equal to minus log of H plus divided by mole per liter okay so this is about the pH value and in detail okay thus an acidic solution of hcl will have a ph is equal to 2 similarly basic solution of NaOH is having tendency to minus 2 uh, then uh, okay a pure water has a concentration of hydrogen ions h plus tendency to minus 7 mole hence the ph of pure water ph of pure water that is given as pH is equal to minus log of 10 raised to minus 7 is equal to 7. Acidic solutions possesses a concentration of hydrogen ions uh, that is H plus greater than 10 raised to minus 7 mole while basic solutions possesses a concentration of hydrogen. This is acidic solutions processes concentration acidic solutions they are possessing a concentration of h plus greater than 10 raised to minus 7 like uh, basic solutions they are h plus which is less than 10 raised to minus 7 okay acidic solution has a ph less than 7 acidic solution has pH less than 7 basic solution has pH greater than 7 neutral which is uh, equal to 7 this is the pH value okay uh, next is now again consider the equation at 298 Kelvin we know that the Kw this is ionic product we know constant H3 O plus into OH minus 10 raised to minus 14 taking negative logarithm on both side of the equation we are taking so minus log Kw minus log of O plus minus log of OH minus so you can write minus log of 10 raised to minus 14 KW is equal to 14 now note that Although Kw may change with temperature, variation or in variations in pH with temperature are so small that we often ignore it. Okay, so this is about the pH scale. Next, consider the problem: the concentration of hydrogen ion in a simple of soft drink is 3.8 in 10 to minus 3 mole. What is its pH? 
So I will write down the solution here. You know, pH is equal to minus log. What is the value be given? 3.8 into 10 raised to minus 3. You can write like minus log. Uh, that one 3.8 plus log 10 raised to minus 3. Okay, then uh, this one is minus the value of 3.8 log is 0 0.58 plus log 10 raised to minus 3 is minus 3.0. So, after solving this, you are getting 2.42. Therefore, the pH of the soft drink is 2.42 and it is uh, be inferred that it is uh, acidic. Okay.